let us solve a question on constrained optimization this question was asked by a brother on whatsapp the question is like this assume that the utility function of a consumer is given by u x y where x and y are the two goods is given as minus x minus one uh, whole power two minus uh, y minus one raised power two prices of good x y are that means price of good x is one price of good y is also one and the income earned uh, by the consumer is m is equal to 10 we need to solve for consumers optimal bundle the options are uh, at optimal uh, we have x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 uh, second option is we use 5 units of x 5 units of y the third option is x is equal to 1 y is equal to 10 and fourth option is x is equal to 10 y is equal to 10 okay 10 or 10 let's solve this question so what we are being given we are being given the utility function okay we have the utility function u x y is equal to minus x minus 1 square minus y minus 1 square this is our utility function also price of x is equal to 1 price of y is equal to 1 and income of the consumer is equal to 1 okay so first we will rewrite this uh, utility function for the sake of simplicity okay so we have minus here okay and uh, like we say so minus now let us solve x minus uh, uh, one square okay what is x minus one square it is simply away oh, simply this is x square uh, plus one square minus two x okay how do i get this simple thing a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 a b okay now sorry uh, we have minus here okay this is the formula which you have um, learned uh, in your earlier classes okay so in place of a we have x and in place of b we have minus 1 okay so use this a is x b is minus 1 so we have a square that is x square plus b square that means minus 1 square okay then we have minus 2 sorry here we can write it as it is so let me write it here a in place of a we have x plus in place of b we have 1 okay then minus uh, 2 in place of a we have x okay and in place of b we have one okay this formula we use uh, then we have minus so y minus one whole square is y square uh, plus one square uh, minus two into y into one which is two y okay so this is uh, if i write it like this minus x square minus one plus two x okay this minus is multiplied to each of these terms and similarly here we have minus y square uh, minus one minus minus is plus two y and we can write it like this minus x square minus y square uh, plus two x plus two y i am just uh, rewriting the terms now minus one minus one is minus two okay so we have u x y is this is our utility function okay and we need to maximize uh, this utility function okay so the question is like this we need to maximize this utility function subject to the budget constraint what is our budget constraint that is uh, price of good x is one so uh, price of x into units of x plus price of y times units of y should be equal to m that means uh, when we multiply price of each good with it is units our budget should get exhausted so price of x is one so we will not write it here price of y is also one that means x plus y should be equal to 10 one crazy made. okay so this is because of rosary such gasani okay so we need to maximize this utility function subject to this budget constraint okay so how do we uh, solve this very question for optimal we use the tangency condition and tangency condition simply says us 
that marginal rate of substitution between x y should be equal to the ratio of their prices price of x upon price of y okay this is the tangency condition and what is marginal rate of substitution between x and y it is simply equal to marginal utility of x upon marginal utility of y should be equal to price of x upon price of y so price of x upon price of y and what is marginal utility of x it is simply the derivative of the objective function this utility function with respect to x okay so the partial derivative of this object uh, utility function with respect to x okay so i can write in place of this like this d uh, u upon dx okay so i'm not uh, writing x y here so you assume it it is the function of x and y here and d u upon d y okay should be equal to price of x upon price of y okay now what is du upon dx well, let us take the partial derivative of this utility function with respect to x so this square becomes coefficient by power function rule x to the power n is equal to n x to the power n minus 1 if we have minus x square its derivative will be simply this in place of n we have 2 so so this becomes 2 uh, then we have um, minus x and we have 2 minus 1 okay simple stuff here so i can write in place of this uh, minus uh, 2x and since no x is involved derivative is 0 here derivative is 0 here also derivative is 0 derivative of x is 1 so we are left with 2 only so this is marginal utility of x is equal to minus 2x plus 2 similarly marginal utility of y is the partial derivative of this utility function with respect to y so let's take partial derivative with respect to y so derivative of y square is 2y so we have minus 2y uh, plus derivative of y is 1 so we are left with 2 should be equal to ratio of the prices so price of x and price of y is 1 upon 1 done done now let us solve this further so cross multiplying we have minus 2x plus 2 is equal to minus 2y plus 2 okay so we can cancel this uh, 2 and 2 because they are of same sign okay or you can also uh, transpose this here this will become if it is plus 2 it becomes minus 2 and you can use that very thing also okay that means we have minus 2x is equal to minus 2y now we can also cancel minus 2 and minus 2 okay you, you can use the uh, um, you can also write it like this x is equal to minus 2y transposing this it will be a minus 2 so this gets cancelled so i have not used this very notation that means x should be equal to y okay just plug x is equal to y in our budget constraint this is our budget constraint this is our budget constraint okay just plug x is equal to y if x is equal to y so in place of x if i write y then we have y y plus y is equal to 10 that means 2y is equal to 10 which gives us y is equal to 10 upon 2 which gives us optimal value of y, uh, y is equal to 5 and uh, just plug y is equal to 5 here again so we have x plus and the value of y which we got here for you should be equal to 10 or x is equal to 10 transposing it will get uh, this plus 5 becomes minus 5 so we get the optimal value of x is 5 also so the optimal values are x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5 so the correct option should be uh, this option okay and graphically what does this mean so let me draw the graph here okay so graphically it simply means it means <sighs> let us see this is our budget constraint okay tangency condition means that marginal rate of substitution this is our indifference curve this is our budget unit line that is units of x here units of y okay so tangency conditions tell us when our indifference curve is tangent to the budget constraint at that point we get the optimal values of 
the goods okay so that means units of x that can be consumed is 5 and units of y also equal to 5 and at this point our m r s is equal to ratio of price ratio of the prices okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you